There's a new format for Olympic dressage from Tokyo 2020, with the biggest changes being teams of three and no more drop score. Here at the Future Champions event in Hagen, some of the very best young riders are testing the new format for the very first time in both team and individual competitions. And it's a brilliant opportunity for everyone involved in the sport to see what it all really means. You always have to look to your sport. How can you make it more attractive? It's more than important that Grassite stays at the Olympics, at the program. We discussed a long time about the change. What can we do to make our sport more attractive? It's more easier, easier to understand for the public, for the general public, not for the insiders. But that's the reason to make the sport more attractive. With three riders in the team, if something happens, you lose the medal. And that's for me very, very more interesting than it is like today. We discussed it for more than two years and on paper everything works well, but then it's practice and that's why we're very happy to be here in Hagen. Oh, it was wonderful that we had the chance to test it here because still we have possibilities uh, to change everything which does not work. But as far as I saw from the two days yesterday and today, it worked quite well and it was an interesting and thrilling, thing, a thrilling format. Everything that helps to sell dressage is wonderful. We have to be transparent, we have to interest people and everything that is done to get our sport more into the focus is good. And it's always good if you involve the spectators uh, in which way ever uh, to feel them part of our sport and that is good because it sells. The changes have a huge impact on the chef de keeps and the team coaches in how they approach and coach their riders. Just coming into it with the three-man team is, is different. And then the format in which they're doing it, where the world rankings are so important, and then the grouping of the riders. So I have to say, coming here to this test event was really beneficial for us. I think I have a better understanding now of how it's gonna go. One of the biggest changes in team dressage is the order of go for the final riders being decided by the results after the first two riders of each team. We made sure they were aware of how it was going to work. Um, and during the first two groupings, as they go, we'd certainly pay attention to how the different nations are doing and how the teams are lining up. So we had a very good sense, actually, as the last rider came out of the second group, we knew exactly what the order was going to be. It was just a matter of knowing what the exact ride time was going to be. But we knew the order, and I think that part actually worked quite smoothly. Um, the break for us in this situation worked, worked quite well. They are young, they are dynamic, uh, they have uh, sometimes uh, a mind uh, that is broader and more open for changes than, uh, than our senior riders. So I think they, they really enjoyed it. We had some very positive feedback from them and, uh, and I think they liked it. Zemeko Rottenberger was last to go in Hagen for the winning German team. So how did she find the change? Although I like being organized and knowing my plan already the day before, um, yeah, but I trusted my two riders and teammates that they would do a good job so I could estimate uh, when, I was, when my start time was and it worked out pretty well. So I think uh, this format is um, really encouraged the spectators, so it's more interesting for them. And um, it's, I think it's pretty cool because uh, we were like the test person, the test riders, and uh, trained this for Tokyo, and it's uh, really a cool feeling. And I hope that the dressage board is, um, yeah, that this format will push the dressage board a little bit more. That would be great. At least our girls and guys in, in America don't have an opportunity to ride in too many team events. So that in itself, and then coming here to Europe and doing it, and then the pressure of it being an, a test event, I think um, they've handled it incredibly well. And I think they all should be really proud of themselves. It's very important for everybody to feel sort of safe uh, and secure uh, with these new changes. Uh, and that's why it's so important, not only for everybody kind of involved behind the scenes, uh, judges and officials in general, but it's very, very important that we all think that this new change will end up like a really, really good idea and an asset for, for the sport in the future. This test event isn't the end of the process though in establishing the new format. There's still plenty of work to do to ensure a successful competition come the Olympics. We have already now already written down some issues that, that should be explained, should be made better, maybe have to change some rules. But that's the reason why you test it and maybe a second test is necessary. 
it has to be sure that next year in Tokyo everything runs very, very well.